Today, we are tackling a question we get a lot. What is iCore? This is especially common for non-members who haven't gone through our courses yet. In short, iCore stands for Input, Control, Output and Refine. Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. And defines a productivity system end to end. The clear focus of iCore versus other productivity methodologies is that it's designed based on real life experiences in order to help any busy professional to build their own highly effective productivity system covering both information and action management. Yes, this is key in iCore, moving information always into action. Only this way it's possible to achieve your goals consistently in a busy work environment. We start with a bird's eye view of all the concepts and workflows iCore covers. But first, let's dive into the history of how iCore was developed and why it's such a successful productivity method for professionals like you. My journey after completing my PhD. I worked in a big corporate environment for over eight years. I expected a well-structured workday with easy access to information, but reality was different. I struggled with productivity and I wasn't alone. Everyone around me was also trying to survive the day with the resources and software available. I just remember my boss carried several paper notebooks plus her laptop. We were successful, but overworked and constantly busy seeking necessary information. In fact, Asana, the project management software company, conducted a study showing that people spend over 60% of their day doing work about work and mostly searching for information. This is where iCore was born. I developed solutions to improve team performance by up to 60% with the same headcount. Through easy fixes, we defined what priorities mean and created several single source of truth for different information types. Well, if you want to hear my full story about that, I will link the video in the description below. While working in corporate, I launched the paperless movement in 2018 as a side hustle to help other professionals overcome similar issues. I kept adding to the idea of ICO with my experience and what I learned from coaching thousands of busy professionals over the years. In 2022 then, I met Paco Cantero, who had a similar journey. He successfully manages four businesses without a personal assistant. We realized our tool agnostic productivity formulas were similar. So we partnered up and he became the co-founder of the paperless movement. Over the following year, we refined iCore by merging all our experiences, concepts and workflows into one comprehensive methodology. This methodology is now taught inside our membership via the iCore journey, a course by course program helping our members implement iCore in their work lives. We also offer direct coaching through the Inner Circle program. Within just one intense month, our cohort members will have a highly effective productivity system running. And we are so proud of the life-changing feedback from our members and cohort alumni. We confidently say our methodology is the best for professionals seeking productivity improvements. We are also currently working on our first book about the ICO methodology, which will be available later this year. If you're looking forward for this book, let us know in the comments below. With all that said, let's dive into what ICO really consists of and how it can help you unleash the full potential of your productivity system, no matter the tools you use. All right, now let's dive into what is iCore. Well, this is iCore. As I already explained in the beginning, iCore consists of different areas of a productivity system. We call it input, control, output, and refine. And what you see here are the different courses of the iCore journey teaching the concepts and workflows that you see below. And we will go through these concepts and workflows now one by one. So we start with the input stage and you see input and control. Well, and then we also differentiate inside iCore between personal and business. So therefore you see the split here and we consider here the information management and the PPM, the task management. This is all the personal area. And then we dive into the business area where we have the business project management and the business knowledge management. iCore also consists of the iCore framework that you might have seen in other videos already that I can show you quickly here. This is the iCore framework and there you see it's reflected again, the personal knowledge management, the personal project management, which is the personal area, the information part and the 
action part and here's the business project management and the business knowledge management if we go now to our website to where we show our tool stack tools we use there you go this is now the ico framework laid out with our tools and then we have the utility apps down there as well and if you want to learn more about this i have a video where i dive deep into this if you want to watch it i link it in the description below but now, so you just see a filled out ICO framework and now you saw the different areas of a productivity system now laid out on the ICO framework and then now it makes much more sense already why you're using certain tools for different areas. So for all our members, this is the starting point of the journey. They need to lay out their tools on this ICO framework because this makes you realize redundancy, gaps, and so on. But then going through the journey and revisiting this ICO framework, this is the life-changing moment because with all the concepts and workflows in mind, then you will tackle the tools that you use in a completely different way. Let's go back to our overview here. So as you saw, PKM, PPM, BPM, BKM. So where was the refine on the iCore framework? Well, that's the moment where I said, if you go through the journey, you revisit your iCore framework. That's the refine part where you start refining your tool stack as well, but also the way you work on a daily basis. And that's where we dive into the different key concepts now. So the journey starts with the digital note taking like a pro course in the input part. And in this course, you will come across the capturing beast for the first time. I made another video, I will link it in the description below, where I talked about the capturing beast, if you want to check this out, where I explain already also the shallow thinking and deep thinking systems combined with the capturing beast. And this being said, now we are also already in a control stage where we control our knowledge and information in the PKM like a pro course, where you learn all about shallow thinking systems, how you leverage inboxes and buckets, and the deep thinking system which consists especially of the thought led where you develop your thoughts and ideas and the information but key is really to move things into action and that's where in the ppm personal project management or the task management area comes into play and that's the task management like a pro course in there you will learn the concepts of weekly planning weekly review and daily planning this might all sound familiar to you you might have seen this in different places are already also like daily routines and things like that and shallow work deep work the key is that we define these common words because what i learned in corporate is people go to productivity trainings they come back with a lot of buzzwords <laughs> the team has to learn these buzzwords and nobody understands actually what they are all for and they don't even work in their work environment Therefore, we have chosen to use common words in iCore that everybody understands somehow, but then give them a proper definition of how to use them. So you will learn exactly what is the weekly planning and what is the weekly review? What's the daily planning? Because in daily planning, for example, you learn something about the daily highlight. And there should be always one task that you should complete on a daily basis in order to move towards your goals. But these daily highlights then are created out of the weekly planning, which gives you the weekly goals. And when you go through the whole i journey, you will learn not only then in the execution part, the difference between shallow work of speedies, which are tasks less than 15 minutes, or deep work of actual tasks that take longer, how to schedule them out and plan them out, but also how everything in your personal task management is aligned with your business project management, which consists also of the goals of your business. Here, still in the output stage, now we are transitioning from personal to business and the business project management area. And therefore, you will go through the project management like a pro course that will explain the execution beast. And execution beast consists of the output elements and peer. But again, behind this cryptic naming, if you want, there are always wordings based on common sense. So as you see, everybody working in a business knows about the word goals, projects, Maybe work streams, not so much, but workflows and work streams are basically just a container holding workflows and operations. That's something you have in daily business and tasks. One of the key takeaways is that we define tasks as the only actionable item. That's the only entity 
within a project management tool and task management tool that drives you towards action, that where you're doing things. Everything else that you see are just containers holding tasks, projects, work streams, operations, and the goals are just the North Star. So at the Paperless Movement, we are just reviewing our goals every quarter. There is no need to realign the goals every day when we, for example, go into the daily planning and things like that, because we know exactly that these tasks are based on the goals. And when we complete them, we are moving automatically towards these goals. Again, this is all very high level in order to understand this. I highly recommend to watch the course and you will see how simple it can be to apply all these concepts in your own work life. So PIA stands for Plan, Execute, Align. There's another video on this channel where we dive into this to learn more about this. And then also in this output part, we talk about the idea incubator that's based on team ideas. So within your business, but even if you don't have a team, you always can pretend that you have a team. That's what we recommend to solopreneurs, for example, that they always build up their productivity system in a way, pretending that they would have a team because that makes them realize how many hats they are wearing. And it makes it so much easier to scale later on whenever a team comes in. So the idea incubator is really the place where you can get all the ideas in and you make sure that you will tackle them the moment you need more new projects, you accomplished your goals, and then you have already a, a backlog of prioritized ideas that makes it easy to keep things rolling. But without the interruptions of working towards your goals, because that's what usually happens. Somebody comes in and says, man, what an exciting idea. Or especially as solopreneurs, it's even worse because you watch some YouTube videos or something like that. You get amazing ideas. You follow them up for one or two weeks, realizing, well, that's actually nonsense. But you lost two weeks not working towards your actual goals. And that's where the idea incubator is really crucial. And also the team communication system, which is crucial in order to have an efficient communication, asynchronous communication. In fact, at the Paris Movement, we only have one agenda meeting per week on Monday, where we discuss the weekly goals, the daily highlights, and then everybody is aligned what to achieve this week. And there's usually no need to follow up on anything like that. Also knowing about the idea incubator and that anything that appears during the week will be covered in the next Monday meeting this gives us clarity and focus on really work on what really matters right now. And then finally, you go into the refine part and in the refine stage, in the automation like a pro course, you will learn why it's not worth automating everything and trying to automate everything. That manual actions sometimes are much more efficient than automations. And also you learn how to map out your business processes and creating your workflows, which then eventually end up in work streams, producing your products on autopilot, whatever you're doing. Might be videos or might it be something complex in an engineering team or something like that. This is what ICO covers. ICO really covers everything end to end from information to action, the personal work and the business work. Basic understanding of personal in this context is really that when you're sitting in a project meeting, you're discussing what you need to do and you go back to your desk and you ask yourself, what do I need to do now? That's where the personal area comes into play. You will always know exactly what you need to do right now and that things are aligned with the business goals. And the system that we are building here will tell you what you need to know, what you need to work on, where to find your information, everything on the speed of thought. That's why we believe in the one brain concept that our digital processes should work in the same way as our brain works. That's why everything in the i is based on common sense, all evolved out of real life business experiences. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can catch you up next time. And of course, our doors are wide open for you to join us in the membership, go through the iCode journey. Paco and I, we are in there personally to help you succeed with your work challenges, building your productivity system in your specific work environment. See you next time.